Hey guys, it's me Daniela and I'm back with another video. In the last video, I shared with you how I draped a evening gown, but in this video, I am going to show you how to grade it up to your size or customize sizes. A disclaimer, there is a technical way of grading pattern, but for me, that technical way is a little bit confusing and I just couldn't understand it. So I found a way that works for me and I'm going to share that with you. So first we're gonna take our drape dress off the mannequin and we're gonna lay it down flat. Right here, as you can see, I'm measuring the bust, the waist, and then from the natural waist, which is the smallest part of the, the dress, I'm going to come down nine inches so I can get the hip measurement. So you wanna make sure that you measure from the side seam to the center front. Do not go beyond that because that's just excess. And here I put the actual measurements of that body. So here you can see that the bust is 34 inches, the waist is 28, the hip is 35, and I measured myself and you can see my bust is 34, 27, and 40 hip. Now you need to go ahead and find the difference between these measurements. So as you can see, my bust is the same size as the dress form, so I'm not going to do anything there, but I have to go ahead and um, find a difference between the other two measurements, which is the waist and the hip. So my waist, you can see that is one inch smaller, and the hip is about five, my hips is about five inches bigger than the actual dress form size. For example, for the hip, I'm going to split that four ways. So it's gonna be one inch and a quarter. And then my waist is gonna be a quarter of an inch. And then the bust, since my bust is the same size as the dress form, I'm not going to go ahead and add anything there. But if you had a size that was bigger or smaller, you would do the same thing as the other two measurements. So once you have that done and settled, so then you want to take your draped dress and you want to just separate it and get it ready and prepped up so you can use it for pattern. And here I'm going to iron everything out because I want everything to be nice and neat, nothing wavy, nothing puckering. So here on my padding paper on the edge, I drew it my one inch and that's going to be a center front. Now if you don't have a pattern paper like mine's with the indications, you can use an L ruler to help you create one inch mark or a straight line to follow the edge of your paper like you can use a plain brown paper or whatever paper you have at home. I'm going to copy the first part of my um, bodice, which is the center front, but I'm gonna start from the knee marking and I'm gonna take it all the way to the top. I'm gonna you know, copy the neckline and so on and so forth. Um, anything below the knee, I decided that I wanted to extend my, my hemline because I wanted a more dramatic um, hem finish. So I extended my hem from the center front uh, 17 inches. So I'm going to use the curve ruler to recurve the hemline. Readjust it at the side seam as you can see here with my curve ruler and straight ruler. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into the side seam um, starting from the knee. Use these tools to help blend everything in into the new side seam marks. This will create a more wider hemline for that um, portion of the pattern. So here I'm going to knead up the princess seam just to get it more straighter. At the bottom of the hem here, I'm just making it four inch longer. Now I'm gonna go back and draw in my half an inch. And then I'm gonna cut it out. And then also, since this is the center front, I wanted to cut it on the fold, so I indicate that it was the fold. And I'm gonna remove the one inch mark line. Now we are on to princess panel. Copy the whole entire panel from the top to bottom. At the bottom also, I wanted to make sure that it is the width of how I want it and it's 17 inches the way I wanted it so I'm going to just adjust the bottom hemline just to make it more smoother and nicer and then I'm going to add additional four inch at the hemline just extend it. Now it's time to bring back our measurements that we took and adjusted. 
and here's the trick so we're going to be working with the side seam only on the princess panel so here i'm going to go ahead and start distributing the measurements onto the side start from the natural waist and come back down to nine inches that's your hip mark we're going to come out from that hip mark with the new measurements that we had so my hip was one and a quarter that i need to add so i'm going to add that to the side seam and then at the natural waist i'm going to come in about a quarter of an inch from that original mark and then with my tools i'm going to blend in and recreate a whole new side seam with the new measurements as you can see i'm using my curve ruler to reshape it and adjust it to blend it in and since i didn't have any bust measurements i'm leaving that part alone and i'm just going to blend that right back into the seam again from the waist to the hip from the hip back into the knee marking So it will look just like this with the new adjustment. Once that's complete, you want to go ahead and clean everything up. You know, take away the old side seam marking and use the new one. So I already drew in my half an inch seam allowance and the patterns is adjusted. So you want to repeat the same process all over again for the side back panel so I'm going to do the same thing once again I'm going to extend the hip mark outwards to one and a quarter then I'm going to come in a quarter of an inch at the waist so I'm going to take my curve ruler and blend it in and then I'm going to reshape the side seam once again I went ahead and placed back my bodice onto the paper so that way I can measure the hemline. Um, again, mine was 17 and you can go as wide as you want and as long as you want as well. You can see that I extended it out and redrew my side seam and blended it into the new hemline. And once you complete, again, just drawing your half an inch seam allowance and you will look just like this. Lastly, this is the center back of the bodice and I want that to have a fish tail extension so I can have a nice long fish tail I made the hemline 17 inches wide and then I readjust the side seam from the knee all the way down to the hem and now drew in my center back line which is a half an inch and then once that's complete I went ahead and drew in my half an inch seam allowance and then after you're done that, this is your new patterns. Test on a test fabric. So I went ahead and cut it out. And you wanna go ahead and make sure you match up the markings with your panels together. And then you wanna go ahead and try it on to fit it. So as you can see, everything is put together. I'm basically pinning myself um, if you have someone to help you, it can be a little bit easier, but if you don't, you're going to have to use yourself. And um, you would do this to your clients or whoever you are working with. Um, you want to go ahead and shape it onto their body. As you can see, the side seam is a little bit big on me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reshape that by pinning it onto my body and shaping it. You want to make sure that you pick one side of your pattern. You don't want to use both sides because you want it to be identical when you cut it out on your fat on the actual real fabric. So I'm working on one side. I picked the best side I liked, and then I'm going to continue to work on it and reshape the side of my hip. As you can see, there's a little bit of room there. So I don't want my dress to be super tight because I don't want it to show any of my flaws. And if someone has a bit of tummy, you don't want it to be like really tight. You want to just go ahead and just lightly pull and just start shaping around your hip. You can go down to as your knee to get it as more shapely and tight fitted if you want. 
um, here in the back I noticed that I wanted my booty to be more prominent so I went ahead and um, started adjusting the back seam by my butt part just to get the shape of how I want it to be and I want it to be more shapely so you can see the difference between the original and what it looks now I'm going to turn around and show you so this is more of a fitted back and that other side which I've never touched is a little bit more looser once that you see that everything is nice the way you like it is nicely fitted and you're satisfied you want to take off your dress and then you want to lay it flat and adjust any puckers if necessary so that way you can go ahead and start to draw in the new shape I started moving pins around just a little bit just to make sure that area is flat so here I am taking my curve ruler and redrawing the new shape blended into the previous waistline And then after that, I'm going to take my straight ruler and draw in the new seam allowance. Now, once you've done all that, you can now take this and adjust it onto your paper pattern with the new corrections. And then you can go out and cut it out into the fabric that you're going to be using, the actual fabric. So this is how I do how to do custom sizes for your body or for your client. And I hope you enjoy this video. I did love the comments you left in the previous video of the draping tutorial. So I will be applying some of the ideas that I received onto the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.